the heater control module for the XJ6 XJS series. <clears throat> it's a little brown thingy that looks like this right here. And it goes back up inside here. It's back in behind this area here underneath. <clears throat> so you have to... Uh, <clears throat> Easiest thing to do to get in there is very often just take the screws out of the heater control relay, which is right here. It allows you to swing the relay. Uh, well, it's hard to see. But anyway, there's a relay right here. It's a little black thing. It's got all the wires on it. You can kind of move this out of your way a bit, then you can get in there to it better. There's a um, metal clip underneath that fits into this area right here. Uh, as it sits up in there, it kind of sits like this. Sorry, like this. You pop the clip down and you can just pull it right out. Grab it by the pigtail and now it's coming. So uh, that's how you get it out of there. And then, then you come here to this guy here. You squeeze in on these points right here and pull. And okay, here's my latest circuit board. A little bit different from the one in the other video, but the idea is the same. And this one, of course, has a professional PCB. I put a terminal strip on the end so it won't be necessary to solder the uh, pigtail into the board. You can just screw it in like that. So this is the board. Okay, easiest way to test the board. Easiest way to test the board is just to uh, turn the ignition on with the heater control set to the auto position on the right hand side. And we turn it on, something should happen. In my case, uh, you get a green light, which is a power light, and a blue light, which means I'm in the max air conditioning mode, or else I'm traveling toward it. So if I turn the knob down toward heat, say I go down to 75 degrees, for example, the red light comes on, blue light goes off, and the, the fans will cycle down, and it'll eventually reach a point where it switches off entirely. So now it's stabilized, it's in the middle, and it'll stay there, mixing up heat and air to give, um, you know, the middle range. If I want to go on down to full heat, I just twist it on down to 65. And anywhere in between, anywhere you put the knob, it'll reach that point and stop. So you can have any, any mix of hot or cold that you want, but it's going to be a manual choice. It'll be your choice. So go on down to full heat. When you get there, the... Um, the red LED will stay on. And see, so now we're in the maximum heat, the red LED stays on. So, if we want to go back to full air, we just twist it up to hot, oh, sorry, to cold. The blue light comes on and it travels up. Uh, whoops, sorry, that doesn't work. But it travels up uh, and it'll go until it reaches full high. The fan speeds will pick up until we get to high speed. Be in full air conditioning, low speed, middle speed, sorry. We are full speed stopped. So that's how it works. Complete manual control. You choose where you want it to run. Just by moving the hot, I mean, just by moving the temperature knob, you move from hot to cold. But it does not work automatically anymore. The way I mount this board in my car, and it seems to work. I've done it for for 10, 15 years now. It seems to work just fine. I wrap it in a piece of leather, put a piece of tape on it, which I don't have here, and just place it right there. And it stays there very nicely. It doesn't slip out of place. It works fine. And, and then the cover will go on over that, and you're good to go. Um, it doesn't get hot. It doesn't, um, doesn't draw very much current at all, so it stays, um, stays happy there. Okay, now with the board safely tucked away, uh, right here, uh, we can put the cover back on, and we're good to go. Oh, of course, got to put screws in, but I'll do that later. So that's it. Okay, uh, one more time on the wiring connections. I got the board off the car now, so you can see clearly. Um, looking at the board, and this thing, assuming this is the top, and this is the bottom. The uh, the brown wire goes on top. The yellow wire and those goes next, white wire, then the blank one, which I'll make a note of this if I send you one. Uh, then the green and the blue wire, followed by the red and the purple and the black. The black is the ground, goes on the bottom, 
background goes on top like that. That's it. Um, just remember nothing connects to this terminal here. It's a plus five volt terminal. It's a, it's a spare. Maybe use it later for something, but it, for right now it's not used for anything at all. And also the orange wire on the pigtail is not connected. Do not connect it to anything. Just uh, tape it up and you're good to go. Okay, so that's it. It's my latest board. Incarnation number four, I think. So anyway, if anybody's interested, I can make up a few of these. I have low volume stuff, but I can make a few. So uh, if anybody's interested, give me, give me a call. I sell them cheap and uh, I'm just, um, it's a hobby. So I'm happy just to pass them on if anybody's interested, if it might be helpful in some way. Okay, you guys take care, stay safe, happy motoring.